Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at Gatsby and how we can avoid build errors due to the missing content in the CMS. First, we'll take a look at the problem at hand and then we'll discuss two possible solutions that we can use in order to solve that problem. So without further ado, let's get started. As you know, Gatsby uses GraphQL in order to orchestrate data and pass it to React components. And so the schema for that GraphQL engine is being generated dynamically based on the content that's being retrieved from the source. That source can be a CMS, it can be a third-party API, or it can be a file system. Let's take a look at the project that we have and take a look at the potential problem that we might face when content editors delete the data from the source. So here we have a simple blog project that, that has a page, which is a listing page for the blog posts, and we have blog post detail pages. So if we go back to our listing page, our blog post consists of the title, of the date, of the author, and of the content of the blog post. And for the purposes of this video, I made the author field optional. So sometimes a blog post can have an author and sometimes it can have no author. And if we go to the code, it's a very basic Gatsby website that has React components as pages and we have the markdown pages which are being used by the Gatsby source file system and Gatsby transformer remark in order to create Gatsby nodes and subsequently Gatsby pages with the help of the Gatsby node API. So here we have two APIs. The first API creates a slug, which is the last part of the URL, based on the name of the markdown file. And the second method creates pages based on the markdown nodes. And if we go to our markdown files and see the structure of every markdown file, as I told you, it has a title, date, author, and the content. And some posts can have no author. And so imagine if the content editor decides one day that all the blog posts in the CMS do not need an author field. So it will be removed from the data. When that happens, our Gatsby site will crash because our component expects the author field on the date. So here we can see that author field is being expected from the component and that author field is being used to render the author name like we saw in the project. And so if we examine our terminal, we'll see an error that GraphQL is expecting the author field and it doesn't get it. And let's take a look at how we can solve this problem. So here we have the project with the first implemented solution. If we go to the pages, we have created a dummy content, which has all the fields that we are expecting in our React components, such as author, date, title. And we also have one more property, which is called a dummy content, the purpose for which we'll see in a minute. So upon the Gatsby sourcing this data and generating a GraphQL schema, it will get an idea of the fields present in the system and it will generate the corresponding field in the GraphQL schema. And when that schema is generated, if we go to our component, we can simply filter out our dummy content with a GraphQL filter. So in this case, we are fetching all markdown remark that have the property dummy content not equal to true. If we go to our markdown remark posts, we can see that we don't have that dummy content field. And so these posts get passed through our filter, but the dummy post doesn't get passed. The same concept is applied in the Gatsby node where we are creating our pages for every markdown file that doesn't have the property dummy content equal to true. And so if we go to our markdown file, and if we open our terminal, 
and go to our project, we can see that even though we have removed all instances of author from our posts, our Gatsby build is not crashing. So we can toggle that field here. And we're going to have it shown in the UI. So we can do the same with the title or the date. Let's say, for example, one day the content editor decides that we don't need a date and an author fields. If we didn't have that dummy post, our Gatsby project would fail. But because we have it, our Gatsby doesn't crash. Like so. Now, I'm not against this solution, however, to me, polluting our data with the dummy content just because of this limitation sounds a bit like a workaround. Let's see how we can achieve the same result without adding the dummy post. Here we have the same project, but with a second solution. If we go and see our markdown files, we no longer have that dummy content and even if we delete the author field from all the instances of our posts, our Gatsby block is not going to be crashed. And this is achieved due to the special Gatsby API method exposed in the Gatsby node. So if we go to our Gatsby node, we have added another method which is called create schema customization and this create schema customization is being consumed by the Gatsby node and here we can declaratively specify how our data looks like even though it may not be present in the API response from the source and so just to keep it a bit cleaner I abstracted it away in this method called customized markdown remark but you could as well put your own code right in this file. If we go to this method, we are explicitly declaring how our markdown remark schema should look like. And the important note here is that our schema declaration doesn't limit the GraphQL schema to the only fields that we have specified here. And if there are any other fields returned from the API, or generated by our source plugin, the additional fields will be generated alongside our declared fields. So it can be excerpt, string, etc. But since at the moment we're only concerned with the field author, we explicitly declare the shape of the GraphQL schema in our front matter like this. So in case our source plugin doesn't find any author field, we will still have this author field, but it will be null. To illustrate this more vividly, let's go to our block listing page and let's console log our data. As we can see, even though none of our blog posts have this field author, it is still present in the schema. And this is how you can bulletproof your Gatsby site without polluting the CMS with the dummy content. And this is especially helpful if your project has multiple environments such as development, preview and production, which can have or not have the data at any point of time. We don't want our Gatsby site to crash because there is no data. Let me know if this video was helpful by pressing the like button. And if you are interested in similar videos, consider subscribing. See you in the next video.